This is the sound of someone's entire life essentially being thrown in the trash. In the middle of recent record-breaking rain in Los Angeles, the city is today clearing an encampment for unhoused people. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass campaigned on fixing the city's homeless crisis. This is, theoretically, part of that fix. This is exactly why I ran for mayor. This is the reason why. Mayor Bass took me to see the cleanup firsthand, getting people out of tents and onto buses and into temporary housing. They leave behind anything they cannot carry. I, I was recently stabbed about two weeks ago. This is just like a godsend right now, like getting indoors and being away from this. Inside Safe is the name of Mayor Bass's flagship program to tear down these encampments and bring LA's unhoused indoors. So when I spoke to you um, about a year ago, you talked about your goal for homelessness uh, and the end of homelessness in Los Angeles by the end of your, your first term. Well, I think the progress is going well. We destroyed the myth that people do not want to leave the tents. People don't want to leave the cars and their RVs. We've had the opposite problem. We have more people willing to leave than we have rooms for. In a remarkable new study, researchers at the University of California, San Francisco surveyed thousands of the homeless in California. Nearly 90% of participants said high housing costs were a barrier to their moving into permanent housing. And the majority of those surveyed did want to get off the streets. There are people on the street that don't want to be housed, but most of them do, you know. It's just uh, finding the right housing form in the right situation. Major factors to finding housing are high rents and low income. Then, of course, there's also discrimination and bad credit. Some people don't even have ID. Some have been evicted before. Many are dealing with addiction or struggling with physical or mental health problems. Affordability is definitely the issue, but the shredding of the social safety net over years has resulted in this situation that we have here. So we have to repair that while we repair the human beings that suffer because of it. The number of people experiencing homelessness in a single night went up 12 percent in the United States in 2023, in part because COVID programs preventing evictions and housing losses came to an end. A quarter of those people were unhoused for the first time in their lives. How many people fell into homelessness during COVID? Before COVID, there were probably about 20 or 30,000 people. Now it's 46,000. Today, this man, Mark, the father of four, is getting out of his tent and into temporary housing nearby. I want to get housed to, to do better for myself and get back in my kid's life. What do you want people out there watching to know about the unhoused community? We're not all drug addicts. We're not all thieves. We're not all uh, people trying to hurt and steal from you. If you see a person down, I think as a human being, it'd be a, a great thing to turn around and bottle of water, maybe a blanket, something. You could save their life. Mark's new housing is in these former shipping containers used to build interim housing quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Since the launch of Inside Safe, more than 2,000 people have moved into interim housing, but only 329 have moved into permanent housing. Since Mayor Bass took office, the program has cost L.A. more than $53 million, but the city argues it was well spent and points out the fire department spent nearly $125 million on incidents involving unhoused people last year. There is a misunderstanding about homelessness in this country. Exactly. A lot of people think it's just people with psychological problems or just people with addiction. We have about 9,000 children who are homeless in Los Angeles. Some of them are in and out of school, some of them attend school, but many are living in cars and RVs. One of the fastest growing sectors of the unhoused population are senior citizens, people in their 60s and 70s. They get priced out of the market and they wind up unhoused. Even so, California is trying to tackle mental health and substance abuse by implementing care courts to push those who need it off the streets and into treatment. And this is a controversial opinion. I don't think it's okay to be profoundly mentally ill, walking in and out of traffic, and, and be allowed to be there. I think some people might need to be hospitalized and they might need to be hospitalized against their will. And I think it is inhumane to allow people to die on the streets. The short-term solution, get people out of the tents, off the street, out of the cars, 
into these containers. But this isn't a long-term solution for the problem. No, right? but let me just tell you what short-term is. I think short-term is about a year and a half. And I say that because it takes a while to build housing. Unfortunately, the policy de facto had been, you stay on the street while we build something. I think that is completely unacceptable. So what is the solution? Just putting somebody in a house is not enough. There needs to be health care and other social services support, and then they need to go into permanent housing.